Glendale, a city that lies between the San Fernando and San Gabriel Valleys. Glendale means a lot of different things to different people. There are the residents of Glendale, some of whom have lived in the city for many years. Those who have more recently made it their home, people whose work brings them to Glendale, and those who just come to shop at the renowned Glendale Galleria or the newer Americana at Brand. Everyone will have their favorite places and images of Glendale, but perhaps not all will know of the unique history of this city, which is now the third largest city in Los Angeles County and around the 23rd largest in the state of California. As the architect Hugh Newell Jacobson observed, when you look at a city, it's like reading the hopes, aspirations, and pride of everyone who built it. So, to understand and appreciate the richness of this jewel, we must first go back to the very beginning. For many years, the area was inhabited by the Tonga people, or People of the Earth, who were later renamed Gabrieleños by the Spanish missionaries after the nearby Mission San Gabriel Archangel. In 1798, José María Verdugo, a corporal in the Spanish army from Baja, California, who had been grazing livestock and farming the land since 1784, was given the formal right to farm Rancho San Rafael by Governor Diego de Borica. Rancho San Rafael was one of around 25 Spanish concessions in California. Unlike the later Mexican land grants, the concessions were similar to grazing permits, with the title to the property remaining with the Spanish crown. In 1860, Jose's grandson, Teodoro Verdugo, built the Verdugo Adobe, which is the oldest building in Glendale. The property is the location of the Oak of Peace, where early California leaders, including Pio Pico, met in 1847 and decided to surrender to Lieutenant Colonel John C. Fremont. Verdugo's descendants sold the ranch in various parcels, some of which are included in the present day Atwater Village, Eagle Rock, and Highland Park neighborhoods of Los Angeles. In 1884, residents gathered to form a town and chose the name Glendale. Three years later, residents to the southwest formed a town named Tropico. The Pacific Electric Railway brought a streetcar service to the town in 1904. Glendale incorporated in 1906 and annexed the neighboring Tropico 12 years later. Leslie Coombs Brand, whose name lives on in Glendale, was highly instrumental in the development of the city. In 1904, he built an estate called El Miradero, featuring a spectacular mansion whose architecture combined characteristics of Spanish, Moorish, and Indian styles. He copied these from the East Indian Pavilion at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition, World's Fair, held in Chicago. Brand loved to fly and built a private airstrip in 1919 and hosted fly-in parties, providing a direct link to the soon-to-be-built nearby Grand Central Airport. The grounds of Il Miradero are now the city-owned Brand Park, and the mansion is the Brand Library, in accordance with the terms of his will. The brand name is also immortalized in one of the city's main thoroughfares, Brand Boulevard. Another important milestone in the development of the city came about by virtue of the partnership Brand formed with Henry E. Huntington to bring the Pacific Electric Railway, or the red cars, to the area.